what's up y'all so a lot of people always ask me about my hair and they always want to know like how long have i been growing my hair like they ask me if it's real ask me like <laughs> what it takes to to get it like this and honestly it's been about as y'all can see that i put in the title it's been about 10 years I would even say a little less than that because I remember when I I first had got it um, twisted, like I started with a little afro and I got it twisted, but then I went and I got it redone and the lady like took it out and it was like a fro again and then retwisted it again. So, you know, it, I would say even a little less than, than 10 years, this is how long it is. Yeah, but... Yeah, I just started with a fro. And right now, I haven't had my hair twisted in about maybe seven months. It's been a little while since I've actually had it done. I still wash it, obviously. But as far as actually getting, like, the, the new growth twisted in, it's been about seven months. That's why it looks so, so nappy. But, you know, this is... This is my natural form right here. <laughs> I actually been looking into, like, I'd obviously I'd wait till they get longer, but I've been looking into what what's called wicks, which is where you like combine them and they get thicker. Now I wouldn't want them too thick, but there's some that I've been looking at. Some people who so I'm I'm digging it. I like the style, so I'm thinking I might do that when they get like down to my. Let's see. How long are they right now? So when they get like down to here, when they get about down to here, I'm, th I'm thinking about going for that style, y'all. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. You know, think about switching it up, going for them wicks, which would look like pretty much like um, what's his name? Um, from Amigos. I'm trying to think of his name. Um, he a rapper from Amigos. I think it it's not Tico, Quavo. It might be, it might be, no, it is takeoff. Like, his be, I think, braided, but I would want wicks that's about that, that size and width. You know, I wanted that width. I like how his look, but I think he just be having his locks just braided for the most part. Excuse me. Yeah, they fun. They real cool. I always get compliments and... Like I said, you, you, like I've said before, it's like you get a connection with them, you know. The longer they grow, they become your babies in a sense. They become your babies, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people in the Western world. Um, I mean, as far as the younger people, we we love our hair, but a lot of older people in the Western world, they really be on that, you know, haircut, and you know, boys should have short hair and. But honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I think, I think our hair is our antennas. You know, I believe our hair is our antennas. So, I don't really believe it. I think that's like a form of control. You know, boys should have short hair and girls. Should, no, they actually had did. It's crazy because they did this test, and um, it was in a military. This was a while back with like Native Americans, where they would cut their hair. And they would give them these exams. And the ones with whose hair was like cut with the military hair hairstyle, it's like they lost their, their sense of their sense of just balance and you know, they were just way more off. But the ones who they like keep their hair were like the perfect soldiers. And they were saying that the hair is connected to your nervous system. So this is actually very spiritual. Like, you know, this is very spiritual. For all y'all that's thinking about it, why not, you know? Why not? Why not grow them out? Just be you. Just be free. I'm all about that. Just being free. It's not hard to maintain at all, you know? Pretty much just keep a shape up <laughs> if you even want to do that, you know? But see the sun shining right now, too. It's like since I came out here, I feel like the sun been shining even brighter 
This what ten hit. This what ten year, ten years look like, y'all. Just a lot of patience. A lot of patience. That's all it takes. Patience. They gonna grow. You gotta enjoy the journey. You know. Gotta enjoy. It. I remember when they was like to my nose. I was thinking, damn, my hair deep. <laughs> That's funny now. I mean, it still was deep, you know, compared to compared to a lot of other people. You know, I think I, I like see. I'm the type of person like I have a green thumb. Like I like to grow things. So seeing them start like these little buds, and then to see them just grow. Then by the time they start, first they start sticking out, what they call the ugly stage, which is like the first three months. Then once they start to drop, like after I think I give about two years before they really start to really drop. You know, some people's hair maybe a little sooner, but I give it about two years. I think it takes six months for them to lock. But once they start to really drop, I mean, really get long, and they just go from here to hmm, 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 hmm. It's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful process. It's beautiful watching it grow. You look up a lot of the ancient statues that, you know, people don't found. Archaeologists and scientists and all type of stuff don't found. A lot of them ancient ones had locks. That's a fact. A lot of ancient ones had locks. A lot of ancient, ancient, ancient people that they still trying to figure out to this, to this day. To this day. You know? If y'all got any questions, comment. You know, I want to do more lock videos. Uh, I, I love, I love my hair. I love my hair. I love the journey. And it's usually me. Like if y'all was to ever see me in real life. I usually be having them back. Like, it's nothing. I tie them back with my own hair. Just tie it right back in a ponytail. And I'm on with my day. I don't do much. It's not much maintenance. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of different styles you can do. You can braid them. You can twist them. I've did, I've did all that. I don't really, I don't really braid them like that, though. Like, I don't do all the style stuff like that too much. I just, sometimes I'll twist them or, or braid them down. And then I braided them back, like, maybe one time. I really just be letting it rock. I'm telling you, I really just be letting my hair rock. I don't be doing too much with it. You know, I think the funniest thing is when people people come up to me, they be like, is your hair real? I would never, personally me, and this ain't me coming at nobody, but I would never put fake hair in my head. That's just not, not something I would do, you know. But I, at the same time, I don't down nobody and judge nobody for doing what they want to do because I believe in freedom. I believe in just being you, being creative. Like, if you want to do that, do that. I'm not going to judge you. You know, that's... But personally, me, my hair all real. That's just not something I do. All real. You know? It's going to feel good one day, right? Say, like... Say, like, a hundred years from now, they find this hair. They're going to be like, yo, who was this? They're going to be studying this hair like, who was this? Like, imagine how long it's going to be by then. You know, by the time I, <laughs> it's my time to leave this planet. They're going to be like, who was that? They're going to be studying everything about it. They're going to know things about my hair I ain't even know. Yeah, you know. I love it. I love my hair. And I do, um, you know, I, I work out a lot, do a lot of cardio. I do uh, mixed martial arts, boxing, Muay Thai, jiu-jitsu. When it comes to jiu-jitsu, for y'all that might do grappling, wrestling, anything like that, what I do is I'll put, like, a, a, a band over it, and I'll wrap it. It, it, it like, wrap around, kind of like a, a bun, I guess. And then there's, like, this, damn, I should have brought it with me. But it's, it's somewhere in the house. It's like this um, this cover you can find at hair stores. It's black. And it got something brown, red. And you just put it over. Just tuck it all in there. Then I'll probably put like another band around to hold it. I might even probably get those soon. I'm probably going to get those. Uh, well, I forgot what they're called. But you know when wrestlers wear them to cover their ears. Probably put that over too. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it'd be good. It'd be good for a nice hour hour and a half practice of grappling, you'd be good, you know, obviously keep your hair clean, wash your hair, you don't got to wash it every day, 
but you know to be honest with you it's a lot of people out there that they're gonna tell you do this do that but my advice is let it rock your hair knows best you know let it rock keep it clean let it rock your hair knows best all these pro- different products and all that. I really don't even got nothing to recommend. Just just let your hair rock. It's going to grow fine. Just give it that love. Give it that patience.